So the workload for the cafe are increasing in a very complex way. The architecture must support connectivity between multiple VPCs and be highly available and fault tolerant. So we are going to look at how we can connect your remote network with AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN. An AWS Site-to-Site, -Site, a highly available solution that can enable you to securely connect on-premise network with your VPC. You can use internal protocol security IPsec, and you can also use encrypted virtual private networking tunnels which can provide you with encrypted tunnels per VPN connection, and you will be charged per connection hour. You could also use with that configuration two types of routing. There is dynamic and the static. So with dynamic routing, there is a software control how the bucket going to be traveled from one point to another. With the static routing, the bucket have a fixed path static. They need to jump from one place to another. When you connect VPNs, you can create a virtual private gateway, and then you will have multiple VPN connection connecting a customer gateway. Now, connecting to your remote network with AWS Direct Connect, this is another choice. If you have an on-prem center and you want to connect directly to the AWS region in the country where you are located, then AWS can provide you with a physical connection, a physical wire between the AWS region data center and your data center. It is dedicated to private connection with a capacity whether one gigabit per second or 10 gigabit per second, which is extremely fast, especially when you have, for example, your backup solution storage layer R in the on-premise and you have services in the cloud and you want them to speak with each other. When you can use direct connection, you can use it in a hybrid environment where you have part of your infrastructure on a prem and part of your infrastructure on the cloud when you want to transfer large data sets, when you have a networking performance predictability, and when you have a security and compliance. Feature. You could also extend on-premise network to AWS using Direct Connect, where you can create multiple VPN location, and those VPN location will connect your on-prem. This is will make your infrastructure highly available because you can also create a Direct Connect backup VPN connection. So in the if the main connection fails down, you have a standby or a backup one. You can also make sure to have a critical workload distributed around multiple on-premise data center using direct connection when you have multiple connection connecting your cloud with the on-premise data center. Now, when we create a VPC, we speak already and we say this is virtual private network and you need to transfer data between those resources that you have in your virtual private network. How you can do that? If you have, for example, multiple VPCs and those one for production, one for testing, one for them, how you will do that? You can use what we call a VPC peering. So in VPC peering, we are going to do the same. We have a one-to-one -one networking connection between two VPCs without any gateway, without any VPN connection, and they are with a separate network allocation, and they have a highly available connection without having a single point of failure or a bandwidth bottleneck. When you have multiple devices are connected with the same gateway, that gateway needs to process everything. So this is will create a bottleneck. Why we call it a bottleneck? Because the water can flow easily in the body of the bottle, but in the neck, it always is stuck, and you always pour water very slowly. Now, you have also traffic always stays on the global AWS backbone, which is an advanced feature, because this means the traffic between two VPCs will happen in a private connection, not in a secure connection. So you can establish a VPC peering by going and configuring the route table. So you have, for example, the destination within the same VPC will be going to the link local, and if you want to go to the second VPC, you are going to use that second destination, which can be the peering connection PCX1. Now, you could also have multiple peering connections, which are restricted to multiple things. So, what you could do is, 
So when you have multiple VPC guys, you can also peer them together. But remember, peer-to-peer -peer connection is between two VPCs at a time. They are not, this is not a transit connection, and this is like a fake question. So if you want to peer VC1 with a VPC1 with VPC2, the div with the production, if you peer the div with the test, this does not mean that you have access between div and the production. They are two totally separate, or they need two totally separate connections. When you connect multiple VPC, consider those networking design. Only connect essential VPCs and make sure your solution can scale. So this is an example of a peering of a shared resources. We have multiple VPCs, we peer them together, and we also use multiple across multiple regions.